Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and now I'm going to be covering hole 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 of the Valley of the Dead tournament. This is the opening round, rookie division. So as you can see, the first five holes on the back nine are going very nice. Uh, eagled all of them so far. Just wish I could have picked up that albatross there on hole number 12, but is a little bit of a tougher of a wind angle, which we're going to go over. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. I hope you all like the content. If you do, please take a moment to hit that thumbs up button and let's roll to hole number one. Finally got this one in the hole on uh, both my accounts, so that feels good. No moving target. Three bars of side spin to the right combined with about five bars of top spin. Of course, if you have a lower level extra mile, you're going to go four and a half top spin, but you're going to be good on this hole. Maybe use a click of OP just to get a little bit more distance. But at the end of the day, this hole is finally playing very nicely. But of course, it's going to as we're getting almost perfect tailwind. It's always easier to drop shots in tailwind or headwind. So we know we're getting a favorable wind angle on this hole. Here, we just try to drive it up the fairway, making sure that we don't roll into the rough which is why you saw me only use five bars of top spin. We don't need to push it too hard. Here we're gonna go 20% at mid distance of our club. You're gonna notice here I set my spins by doing two bars of max spin. And then you're gonna notice that I do put on um, half a bar of side spin to the left. Without doing that left side spin, I was missing right. Uh, so keep that in mind that half a bar of left side spin is pretty crucial on this hole. Uh, once I figured that out here in practice mode, I was able to go two for two um, onto my accounts here that have the thorn. So the shot is playing really nice. You can see there, center of cup, hole number one in the bag. Let's go to hole number two. Uh, I made this every single time. So three for three, I played it with the Viper. I played it with the Sniper. Here, we're just going with about 0.3 to 0.4 bars of top spin. Keep in mind, if you get like a five mile per hour wind, you might wanna go with half a bar of top spin. No side spin at all. You're gonna notice that my yellow ring is right there on the top of the rough. Ball guideline entirely through the hole. You see that? But again, favoring the left-hand side of the pin. So let's take a look at that setup. There it is. This is an uphill shot. We're playing at minus 10% at absolute minimum distance of our club. With a perfect ball, this one found its way into the hole every single time. All right, sweet. Takes us here to number three, 10% max. We're gonna go six top, three bars a side spin to the right. Extra mile nine players don't go more than six top. We don't need it. Here we're just trying to make sure we go from fairway to fairway, leaving us for a nice shot for a potential albatross opportunity that's always there on this hole. Now shot number two, we're playing some, some odd elevation here. We're playing 20 percent at mid so yes 20 percent at mid even with an offset three and a half top three bars of side spin to the left notice again i wiggle around to try to find the sticky spot and then here i'm trying to favor the left hand side of the pin just like that this one's very frustrating um, because i hit a great ball to the right I'm not showing my perfect shots that I did in practice because I was missing them to the right-hand side. Now, I do believe that after I wanted to play 20%, like I did on this account, I think that we have it. At least it's going to be really darn close. You'll notice here with a great right, I barely, barely missed to the right-hand side, which makes sense. I do believe with a perfect ball, that one would have been in the cut for an albatross, and I hope that you're able to pick it up. Hole number four. Uh... Set your spins first, minus 15% at mid. This is one that I went three for three on, so Goliath seven and Goliath eight, easy to play. Look at the setup spot, yellow ring, just like that. And then you make your pull, minus 15% at mid.
Perfect ball. Has been going in the cup every time for me. You can see here, dead center. So that hole looks good as well. And we move on here to hole number five. 10% at max. Six top, two left. Extra mile nine players, you do not need to go more top. Extra mile eight and nine, six top, two left. 10% at max, you don't push up. Lower level extra mile players, you will be pushing back up to max after you make your ring adjustments. All right, this is the first five holes, eagle them all. I hope you find it helpful. If you'd like to support my channel and throw me a tip and a donation like you would your favorite server at a restaurant or maybe your favorite bartender, I always put a link to my PayPal in the comments section below. It really does mean a lot. It helps me get more practice tokens. It helps me replenish some of the balls that I go through in practice mode. So, you know, I really take a lot of what comes through as donations to help continue to uh, put that towards the game to try to get the best content that I can out there. All right, you see we drive the green and we're putting in for an eagle. And that is it. I will get the rest out to you today. Thanks, everybody.